Welcome back to another clay tutorial. Today we are going to create Paper Mario with his hammer and turn it into a magnet. After seeing the trailer for the new Paper Mario game coming out, I knew I wanted to create something from this game or from this series. And what better way to create Paper Mario than using a paper cutout? As far as actually playing the Paper Mario games, I like the Nintendo 64 and the GameCube one the most. I played some of Super Paper Mario, and although it is a good game on its own, in the spectrum of being in the Paper Mario series, I feel that it's not a very great addition. They took away the same battling system that's in the older ones, and to me that's kind of what made the game great. I like this turn-based battling system the most. I'm not too sure about how the battling works in the newest one, that's the one coming out for the Switch, but I guess we'll see. We just baked the very first layer here, this black layer. I baked it only for 5 minutes. This is so that it's hard enough so it doesn't lose its shape, but it's still soft enough that we can cut through it using the X-Acto knife. So we're going to tape on this paper cutout using just some clear scotch tape. And now we can take the X-Acto knife and start cutting out the different colored pieces. I wanted to keep all of the black outlines. For a while, I struggled trying to figure out how I was actually going to create this, but I think this method worked out really good. And yeah, I started to make some holes in my table. So we're going to break out the painting mat, and this will help protect my table. Now we can start cutting out all of the different body parts on Mario. I was a little worried making everything flat. We wouldn't really get the great depth that you see on here, like his hands on top of his body and his shoes raised up on top of that. But very surprisingly, it does keep that depth. Just removing all of these pieces here. And now we can start working on his head and his face. And yeah, this happened. I broke the tip on my X-Acto knife, which made it very hard to keep cutting. So instead I had to use this lawn blade. This was very annoying to use. I have somewhere some extra tips for the X-Acto knife, but I couldn't find them, so this lawn blade is going to have to do. Now let's remove all of the extra paper scraps. We won't need those for anything. And we have our Paper Mario cutout. And just like that, all of the pieces slide right out. Some of the spots though, they broke the edges, and we'll do some repair work on that later. There is going to be a poll that you can participate in. You can find a link to this in the description of the video. As far as the polls go, the winner of the poll I would say would be created probably two weeks after it wins. I need time to see the results and then start working on that next creation. But you guys should see whatever wins this poll within two weeks. Here we can start doing some of the repair work. This is the piece here at the bottom of the hammer that busted. This happened in a few other places as well, we can fix that in just a second. Here we'll be using this translucent liquid baking clay. This is basically just glue that works great with your clay. Um, it hardens when it's in the oven, so it's nice for fixing things like this. And now Mario is ready to get baked. After getting baked a second time, we can start using some colors to fill in all the different body parts of Mario. Starting with red here, we have his arms. As I was doing this whole part, I kept thinking how much it looked like pancake art. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that before, but it's pretty awesome. Now we have the red part on the hat up here. As you can see, it's starting to get a little bit messy on the black parts. And as we use some other colors, like white for example, that gets really really dirty. And I will show you guys finally my secret of how I clean up my clay. I've actually got a bunch of different comments before asking how I clean my clay or how I keep it so clean. And honestly the truth is, it never stays very clean. It's really really messy every time I make something, especially with white. You can see all of the different colors and flecks of black in there. So very soon you guys will see the secret of how I do that. 
Working on the shoe here, we'll use this paper cutout to get the perfect shape for his shoe. Now I want to create some more Paper Mario characters, I think. Um, you guys could let me know in the comments what I should create. This will also be one of the things in the poll, so make sure you participate in that to help decide what we'll be making next. Here we have the black outline around this inner shoe part. I think this shoe is actually probably my favorite part of Paper Mario, just because there's so much detail in it and it just looks so nice. Now for the final step on his shoe, we have the little crack between his heel and the regular part of his foot. These little spots on the hands. And now we can just drop some clay onto our sculpture and it fills in by itself. This was very nice, it made things go a lot quicker. I don't know if you can really tell too much, but so far we've used six different shades of brown, and there's also two more for his face. There are so many different colors of brown on him, and I really wanted to make them stand out separately like they did in the paper cutout. I tried to match everything as good as I could. So here we have these little, well I guess maybe they're cracks in the hammer, or like a wood grain. I wasn't quite sure what they are, but they do look nice and they add some extra detail and texture to the hammer. Now we can take this skin color here and fill this in. This is sort of a mixture of peach, brown, and white that I kept mixing till I got to this point. And the dark brown for the hair and the mustache. And finally this yellow part here. I saved the hat piece from earlier that I cut out so I could use this M. This made things a lot easier, I don't think the M would have looked very good if I just freehand cut it out. Let's place that right onto his hat. And now to learn my secret. This is it, this rubbing alcohol. I've read you can also use water for this, but I haven't really tried that out. I always just use this stuff. You take it and rub it on a Q-tip and this sort of eats away at the top layer of all of the clay and you can rub out all of the dirty spots. As you can see here, this is working really nicely getting rid of all the extra color. And Paper Mario? is ready to get baked. After baking, let's remove it from the tray and we can start adding the magnets onto the back of him. Of course, using our trusty super glue, I think I use this in every single creation. These are just some basic magnets that I had laying around on the magnet board from when I made those other Mario magnets for the stop motion animation. I think three will be enough to hold them up just fine. And here it is guys, Paper Mario! Now let's go place this onto the board with my other Mario figures. I hope you all enjoyed the creation of Paper Mario. It was a lot of fun to create and a good challenge, and it's nice to finally add something new to that Mario magnet board. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and also check out the poll, you can find that in the description of this video. You can help decide what will be created next, and I will see you all in the next one.